There it is. House of Bins. House of Bins. I keep saying oh. I think everybody else says oh too. I'm just gonna come around to the front. So we made it. We did it. Had a very lazy this morning, this morning. And then paid my parking and left downtown Edinburgh. And then I just realized that I wasn't very bright in how I planned today, but uh, that's okay. I'm all right with that. I'm just gonna, yeah, house of bins, I made it. Not necessarily one I wanted to come to, but I think it's gonna be pretty interesting once I get inside and it's a beautiful day. It's an absolutely stunning day. The sun is shining, the birds are twittering. 50% of me was hoping it might rain so that I could get my car washed by the rain, but I guess that's not gonna happen. So we're here at House of Bins and then we're gonna do Gosford House to take a picture and then Lennox Love. So that is the plan for today and I'll talk to you all later. Peace. So I was on my way to Gosford House and I came across the sea. So I am currently enjoying the seaside and I purchased myself some fish and chips for lunch. Uh, life would be perfect if I could find a petrol station and a loo, but uh, I can't have everything in life now, can I? So we found the sea, so we're off to Gosford House. House of Inns didn't quite work out as anticipated because they don't open until 2 in the afternoon and close 3 hours after that, so 5 p.m. So that didn't quite work out as anticipated, so I'm going to find Gosford House and then I'm going to find... Um, Lennox love and then I'm gonna go from there but I just thought I'd show you the seaside very nice day some windsurfing going on I'm tempted to put my flip-flops on and have a walk down and feel the sea but the tide's out so I'd, I'd be going an awfully long way and I don't want to get any sand in the car because I've already got enough mud in it <laughs> I don't need to make it worse. Oh, well, maybe I do. Anyways, so there's the seaside. Sorry, it's a bit windy. All right, I'm gonna go wait for my fish chips and go from there. See you in a bit. I do as well keep forgetting to mention that the car is telling me it's anywhere between 20 and 26 degrees today so it is quite quite warm and quite lovely out actually um, still kind of hoping for that right now so I don't have to go and wash my car but we'll see how that goes but yeah anywhere from 20 to 26 so it's being an amazing day and very cooperative for a nice day of driving uh, yeah so it's good Oh, and they're parasailing. I hope you can see. Is that called parasailing? I don't quite know. There we are. So I'm going to wait for my fish and chips again here. So we've just discovered where we are. We are at Long Nidri Bent, number three. Um, so I guess there's three like parking lots along this coastal point, or maybe more than three, that you can sit and park at. And uh, I've got lunch, and I've been to the loo, and I'm very happy, and it's quite warm in the car. I'm debating if I eat my lunch sitting here looking at the ocean, or if I get to Gosford House and then sit and eat it at Gosford House. But I think I'm gonna sit and eat it here real quick or at least some of it, and uh, go from there. I also got a caramel shortbread chocolate slice, which I will show you later, and <laughs> I'm quite excited. And a bottle of water, which is there. Good, delightful. All right, lunch time. Okay, we've made it to Gosford House, but we haven't found the house yet. Um, those fish and chips, between you and me, heaven. Like, run Sherburn for their money. They were really good. Maybe not worth driving up to Scotland to get, but very good. Sorry, somebody was coming towards me and they always look at you weird when you're talking to yourself, holding a camera. So you just, you keep walking. And um, I don't know if I'll find the house before midnight. Oh, but the fish, oh the fish. It was buttery and light and 
wasn't overly battered and just, just pure heaven. Absolute pure heaven. And I have absolutely no idea ah, where I'm going. I just got stones in my shoe. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep, keep walking and, and see what I find. I saw a building in this general direction, but maybe I should have looked more closely at the map before I just started wandering aimlessly. Oh well. Hopefully I'll find it soon and, and before midnight. I have to keep looking down because there's some puddles. And then off to the next level. Oh, the fish. Oh, the chips. Like I'm sorely tempted to drive back and get another set. Because they were that good. I recommend them. Oh, we come across this building. What is it you ask? I have no idea. But we've come across it. That's usually a good sign, right? A building. A building that looks vaguely like a pyramid. I hope I haven't gotten all the way to Egypt. That would be worrying. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. I'm going to keep walking. It's going to get muddy underfoot here again in a second. And I don't want to end up with muddy foot syndrome like I did yesterday. That's not on my to-do list because I bathed this morning. Yes, I know I could bathe again, but that, that is a great possibility. But it's one of those things. I just don't want to spend all day with a muddy foot. Oh, 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 oh. There's a clearing on my left. I was just wondering if the clearing led to anything in particular. Nope. The clearing just leads to the pyramid. Let's walk up there, shall we? Oh, the gate's open too. So we can walk up there together. Oh, I could go up the cheeky pie. All right, I'm gonna pause a second because when I flip the camera around, it doesn't like this person. There we go. Very interesting man on some gay posts. And the pyramid. I still don't know what it is. And there's nobody about, which is a little, a little worrying. All right, we're gonna get some pictures. Look everybody, I found a lily pond. And there's lots of water lilies in this pond. They're all white though. But to found a lily pond. I have never seen a lily pond quite this size before. That's thoroughly impressive. It extends back quite a ways as well. Alright, I'm starting to think I will get to the house before midnight and there's tons of daisies everywhere so I want to make a daisy chain. Daisy chain, daisy chain. Alright, I have nothing. Ooh, squishy ground. Look at all those beautiful water lilies. Should have the bigger lens. Oh well. Look at them all. Look at them all. All the lily pond. It's the biggest lily pond I've ever seen, I tell you. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. I need to save battery because I've just been told that the battery's running out and I need to take pictures of the house. Guess what, everybody? I found it! Isn't that super duper duper exciting? I'm rather excited. Are you excited? It looks stunning. And I can see over there, right there, there's a glass dome, which is very exciting. And the dome in the top, oh, oh. Just immaculate. All right, so I should have brought the GoPro because it's very wide. Oh. It's 
it's just it's just stunning. Behind me is the stables. Just stunning. All right, I'm going to take some pictures. It's amazing. Do you think if I knocked on the door, I'd get a cup of tea? I don't think I'd get a cup of tea if I knocked on the front door. Actually, this is the back door as well, so I'll have to go around the front as well. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to start taking some pictures now. I hope you can see it, because I can't see it. Bad lighting and all, you know. I'll have to go around the And this is the other side. I really can't decide now which is the front and which is the back. I've come to a uh, point of indecision. It's really neat, there are swans up on the roof, so one of the family animals of Gosford House must be the swan. Also something to Google later. Why are some of them houses? some of them castles, and some of them palaces, because, you see, you've got Linlithgow Castle, and you've got Edinburgh Castle, Paxton House, Floors Castle, Gosford House, Hopetoon House, Castle Howard, and then you've got like Buckingham Palace, so it makes me wonder how each one is determined. I'm sure I've been told this before, but of course have no no clue whatsoever why. That's gonna be tonight's Googling. My theory was a castle was more of a like a oh come on Ashley. Like a battlement, something that was fortified and could withstand attack and then a palace was a We're almost batting a hundred today. I made it to Lennox, love. Now, it's not the most pretty exterior, as you have probably already noticed, but I believe it's got quite some interesting artifacts on the interior. So, we'll do the interior as we could not do the interior of Gosford, and yet Gosford had a far superior exterior. But here we are. Ooh, and they look to have a gorgeous garden, so even better. I hope this is where I give in. There's no other colours around, which is very, very off-putting, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. In we go. Wish me luck. 1912. <laughs> Mama would be proud of me at this moment. She would, she would, she would. So, I've just done Lennox, love. Which, even though there's a sign saying house open today, the house is in fact not open today. It's a bit like those signs that say road is flooded and the road's not flooded. Uh, it's a very similar sign to that. It says house is open today but house is actually not open today but we didn't want to move the sign. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I wandered around for a bit and I found a very nice lady who was bent over a bucket uh, with some dirt and things doing some gardening and I said hello. I think I scared the heebie-jeebies out of her. Uh, she brought me around to the front of the house and she said usually there are ladies sitting in the front of the house waiting to take people on tours. Um, is there nobody there? And I said no, I rang the bell and nobody's about and she said yeah, well. And then we went and looked at the fig tree. I didn't take a picture of the fig tree. The fig tree is magnificent. Oh my goodness. And the figs on it, just astounding. There are hundreds upon hundreds of figs on it, but unfortunately not, they're not ready yet. They're still as wet, hard as rocks. Anyways, so then we went round back of the house <laughs> again. And uh, her three grandsons had just come out of the house. And... Um, 
someone else had come out of the house and she started chatting with him saying this very nice young lady Ashley she's come all the way from Canada to see Lennox love and things inside and didn't realize we weren't open today because they're apparently not open today um, to which then I was told that they're only open Wednesdays Thursdays and Sundays good <laughs> And it's Saturday. Uh, and the three grandsons and two ladies, uh, two ladies and I think the grandmother, were just off to go and pick some elderflowers because they were going to be making some elderflower cordial. I never thought to make elderflower cordial from scratch, but I don't think we grow elderflowers at home. So we started chatting and Granny asked me if I would like a cup of tea, to which I said, thank you very much, but no, that's all right. I said I didn't want to put them to any trouble. It was fine. It was just great to see the house. And I found out I was from Calgary, Western Canada. Today was my last day. I was going home tomorrow. And I got a quick little tour. So I got a quick little tour of the house that was closed. Um, which was amazing and so delightful and so I've been around it was it was quick but amazing well worth the truck up I'm very pleased I just came anyway had a lovely chat with the, the young lady I've been in the Great Hall and I've seen uh, Queen Mary's death mask and her sapphire ring and um, a, a ton of portraits there's just the dedicated Queen Mary Queen, Queen of Scots room which was amazing to see the great hall a sitting room and a dining room table that's just made its way back from Hearst Castle in the US and so I was I'm very pleased with myself I'm very chuffed absolutely stunning inside absolutely amazing inside it didn't get to take any pictures inside but the inside was top notch so <laughs> Well done me. So I've done that. House of Bins last tour is at 4.15. It's currently about 3.20. I can feasibly make it back to House of Bins for their final tour of the day before I um, go to the airport. Actually go to the airport hotel, drop off all of my stuff and then um, take the car back. But before I take the car back, I need to find it some petrol and there's a petrol station just in the village that I'm currently in which I believe is Haddington so I'm gonna drive through Haddington I'm gonna get some petrol and then off to maybe House of Inns again <laughs> try that again I've only been there twice and I didn't even want to go inside in the first place but anyways there we are so I'm off <laughs> if you don't actually I was never going to ask but um I did tell them, they are like, oh, how'd you hear about it? And I did tell them that the website has not worked for the last couple of weeks, so I had really no idea when they were open or when they were closed, and that I was in the area last week and had some car trouble, and that I was going to be in the area again today, so I thought I might as well just give it a try. So I did, and I win. Yay. All right, we're off to see where we can get to. I'll talk to you later. Can you believe it? All the things I've done today. I even made it back to House of Bins and I've been round House of Bim Bins and I have my House of Bins book. The ladies in there were lovely. I think I met the um, lady of House of Bins as well. And look, majestic peacock. Just, just chilling, hanging out. He looks quite comfortable. He looks quite comfortable. If only we all looked that comfortable in the afternoon. All right, so. I, uh, what's my next step? I know exactly what my next steps are, so I'm gonna go make those happen. I'm gonna go wash the car. Hold on. I really have to wash the car. There we go. Really need to um, get that taken care of. So I'm gonna go wash the car, put some petrol in it, and maybe get a sarnie for dinner. So I'll see you later. We are in room 229 this evening and apparently it's very dark in room 229 this evening. So this is room 229. Oh, and the unicorn is on the bed waiting for me. 
So the current objective of the evening is to get all of that. Is to get all of that. Why is it so dark? Anyways, into those two. Those two. Can you can you see me doing it? I I I I, I don't know. I just I I don't know. I returned my car to Avis and everything was good and then what else did I do? Oh, I saw some bunnies on the on the walk back from Avis. There were some little bunnies on the road, well, on the verge. They weren't as cute as my bunny who I get to see tomorrow. All right. I'm going to go and attempt this disaster. And it's final day, so nothing else to report, and I catch the plane tomorrow. I might do this tomorrow. I don't know. <sighs> I think I'm going to sit and relax for an hour. I think I'm going to do that. Peace.